and take a look around. Let me step away from this. So I want you to see no fans, which is sad that I still have to even show this. Nothing, just me and my dogs. Okay, everything's still. Now let's take a look at the magnetic qualities of this. So if I take my hands up and I pull, okay, just like that, you're gonna watch that movement come up and over. So let's see, see this? Now, I'm demonstrating this for a reason. Because oftentimes people think that what I'm doing is a wind base. It's always a wind base. I'm waiting for the wind. And that can't be further from the truth. What I'm doing is based off of magnetism. And so we're doing this while the wind is basically non-existent. So as I put my hands up and I move and I pull, you'll see that this is all enacting with it, right? This is the difference between magnetism and wind. Is the wind enacting? Yeah, it is. But it's also enacting because of the magnetic properties. Hello, Mia. So this is something that people need to see and understand. We don't have a ton of wind in the environment. Okay, let's look around. Okay. So now we're just sitting there moving back and forth. Now it's following. You see this? As I moved it up and came around, it literally followed my movements. Just like that. Now we're at three minutes. So that's something that I wanted you to see. All magnetic. Now I've had many students come out and see this for themselves. I've taught this many times at the seminars. And so I'm literally just doing this with the magnetic properties of my body that I have worked over a period of time in order to create. Take a look over here where I'm not doing it. Okay? Now let's look over here where I am. Okay? Just like that. Now, you see that the, it's coming this way, correct? The only way that if I'm pulling this over like this, if I have a fan, it would have to be blowing from this direction, going this way. So let's... There you go.